Hey guys, Patton here. All right, so the new 2.20 Hackchi has been released today, so I figured I'd get on it and make a uh, quick tutorial on how to add games to your SNES Classic along with adding the RetroArch mod so you can play your Nintendo games if you so wish to do that. So, to get started, follow the links in my description to download both Hackchi 2 and the RetroArch cores. You'll get two zip files. You unzip them into some folder wherever I have mine here on my desktop. Um, when you unzip them, you'll have a HackG2 folder, you'll have a cores folder, and you'll have this file RetroArch.hmod. First thing you want to do is open up the HackG2 folder, and you'll have the contents in here along with the HackG program. First thing you're going to do is open up the HackG program. Here it is. This is the program in all its glory. So, first thing, most important thing you want to do is go to kernel, dump kernel. You have to dump your original kernel because if something goes wrong and you bricked your system or whatever, this is what's going to bring you back to your stock or your original SNES you know, software. So first thing you're going to do is dump the kernel. Do you want to dump the kernel? Yes. And just you're going to follow directions after that. You're going to make sure the power is off on your SNES Mini or Classic. Connect it to your PC with the USB cable. So while holding the reset button, you hit the power switch and you're going to hold on to the reset button for about five seconds after you do that. So let's get started. Power on. Holding reset. Okay, so now it's going to dump our original kernel and this is going to take a minute so we'll let that go through Okay, and we're all set. It says our original kernel is saved in the dump folder. Do not lose it. And that is the most important thing. Do not lose the file that you're going to find in your dump folder right here. This is your original kernel. Do not lose this. Make backups. Send it to yourself through email. Do whatever you have. Do not lose this file. This is the most important file you will have through this entire process. Keep that file somewhere. So now that we have safely backed up our kernel, we can start to flash the custom kernel to the SNES Classic. But before we do that, we can get everything set up. So it's just a quick process. So we have our original games here. If you click on that, you have the list over here on the right side. So say you don't want all the games on there, like Kirby's Dream Course. I don't really feel like playing Kirby's Dream Course. Never really cared for F-Zero. Not personally, I'm just using that as an example. So let's say we don't want those two games. As you deselect the games, notice down here you're going to see the space change. Take out Star Fox. We'll have a little bit more space for every game you take out. So let's just leave out Kirby's Dream Course and F-Zero for now. But I want some games that didn't come with the SNES Classic. So you're going to go to Add More Games. You're going to go to whatever folder you have where you keep your Super Nintendo ROMs. There we go. And we're just going to add a few games. Um, let's see, Alien 3, Aladdin, that was a cool game. Art of Fighting, I like that one. Uh, Batman, Revenge of the Joker. Basin's Black Mass. Okay, so click Open. Now that's going to process the games, add them to your list over here. It only takes a couple of seconds when you're using a few games. So here we go. Now you notice on this release, the name is correct. This is a new feature, the compress feature. You'll see uh, how much it compresses when you check that box. So we're at 1283. Now we're close to half. It's already selected the max amount of players for you. The release date is filled in, publishers filled in. All this wasn't available before. Look at that box art though. To get the box art, you just click this Google button right next to it. 
That looks like a good one. How about Alien 3? Let's get some box art for Alien 3. There we go. Perfect. Art of Fighting. I actually had this game when I was a kid. It was actually a really good fighting game. Nice. Didn't have uh, the, the Black Bass as a kid, but, you know, we'll, we'll add it. Revenge of the Joker. Perfect. Okay, so now we have our games on here. We have our box art. But you know what? I want to put some Nintendo games on here, too. It is super easy to get Nintendo games, Sega Genesis games, Game Boy games, uh, different games that don't come on the SNES Classic you wouldn't normally be able to play. So if you're not interested in that, just skip forward a little bit until you see me go like this on the screen. When you see the mouse go like this, stop the video, and then we'll get back to normal. There you go. Okay, so modules. Install extra modules. Now, I've already gone ahead and added these. But what you're going to do to add these, go back to our original folder, RetroArch HMod, bring up HackG, it's drag and drop. Take that RetroArch HMod, drag it here, and it adds it on there. You click that button, explains what you're adding here, FCEUMM Nestopia, so Nintendo games. Click OK. So now we're building the custom kernel with access to RetroArch, which will allow us to play Nintendo games. Now we actually didn't add any Nintendo games, but we'll, we'll do that in a second. So this takes a couple seconds because it is flashing a uh, custom kernel to the SNES right now. Okay, and that is all done. It's that easy. We now have access to Nintendo games on our SNES Classic. A couple other things I want to show you real quick just to make things sweet and easy for you. Um, before you do anything, console type. When you actually first um, open up HackG, it's going to ask you what your console type is. You're just going to collect or connect, you know, select, excuse me, uh, whatever Classic or, or Super Famicom Mini, either one of these whichever one you have. So controller hacks. Use button combination to reset. This is wonderful. And he's made it so it's custom. Click here. Now you're going to click the boxes with whatever combination you want to get back to the menu without hitting the reset button. I have down and select. I think the default is start, select, L and R. But I like my down and select because I'm used to it from the NES Classic. Click OK. The other thing you can do if you want um, if you don't want any folders, you just want your games in a straight line, you go to Pages Folder Structure. Disable Page Folders. Go back in there. Maximum games per page folder, you're going to want to change this to whatever you feel you can handle. You know, up to 100, you won't have any problems. But if you go, you know, 50, you might be fine on your front page. But if you want to add folders, you're going to leave it as original games and root, automatic, and subfolder. I'm going to leave it like that for now because I want to have one folder just to show you something. Oh, but we didn't add any Nintendo games. Let's do that real quick. Let's back up a little bit to where they are. I don't know, 720. What else is great? Uh, baseball Star, sure. Battletoads, of course. All right, we'll just add those few. You want to patch the game? Yes for all. Patch everything. Anything that comes up like that, patch it. So same thing, baseball stars. We need some uh, cover art here. Is it two? It is two. Battletoads, gotta have a cover art for Battletoads. Boom, Battletoads. Okay, what else was there? 720? Is that a skating game? I actually haven't played this. That's the back. That's the side. We'll go with this one. I don't even think, I don't know if that's right or not, but whatever. This is all demo. All right, so we have our games. We have all our settings the way we want it. Okay, so before we head over to our SNES Classic, let's flash our custom kernel. 
we go to kernel flash custom kernel this is what's going to put everything onto the SNES classic so do you want to flash the custom kernel yes we do so same thing we're going to make sure the SNES is turned off first we're going to hold reset hit the power button continue to hold reset for a few seconds let go reset now it's executing the command it's gonna flash everything that we just did all those settings everything should be available to us as soon as it's done flashing all right so now it says you can upload games to your NES SNES Mini now so after we flash the kernel then we hit synchronize and select the game so it's again going to build a folder structure I kind of went out of order there so flash the kernel first the custom kernel then hit synchronize select the games make sure you do that option or you're just going to go back to your original 21 games and you're going to be like um what's going on so that was my bad anyway you know uh, forgot to mention that so here we go new config done okay all right there we go setting saves let's head over to the SNES classic and see how everything did okay so here we are in our SNES classic we have our original games here did it actually yep we're missing the uh, the Kirby game what else did we take out I think it was Star Fox not Star Fox I think we put Star Fox back anyway so you can see that it took out the games we didn't want but look over here we have new folders with more games when click that and here's all the new games that we added the Nintendo and Super Nintendo games like I said I'll show you guys later how to make folders if you want to separate all these so let's check some of these Super Nintendo games see if they function all right art of fighting starting up Working pretty good, I think. Yeah, there we go. All right, Art of Fighting, let's use our controller shortcut. Down and select brings us back to the menu. How about a Nintendo game, Battletoads? Now you'll notice that you don't get the outlines, you know, the, uh, the, the what do you call those, like the, the covers for Nintendo games, obviously, because it wasn't made for you know those games it was made for the Super Nintendo game so just like the NES classic when you did these mods um, you couldn't use the filter features for um, like Super Nintendo games and Genesis and all that stuff but you could for any Nintendo games you added same thing here any Super Nintendo games that you have you can use the filters with but not Nintendo Genesis anything like that so it looks like uh, the games running fine I can't remember what, what the controllers are because I'm using the SNES, you know, controller. There we go. Let's give him the old head butt. Now what stick guy? Out of my way, stick guy. I'm playing on Super Nintendo. We got the stick. All right. Stick celebration. Oh, pigs. We don't have time to deal with them. All right. So really, that's it. Um, that'll get you to basically add any Super Nintendo game you want now remember this just came out uh, cluster said that there was about a 75% compatibility not all games are playable right from uh, the SNES classic but before when I showed you those folders with the uh, the cores there is one in there for SNES 9x uh, 2010 if you add that core by dragging and dropping um, that gives you all the incompatible games uh, made available to you oh and something else that some people asked was um, do your saves um, cross over and as you can see my save states are still here you know I kind of did one for every game just so I'd have a neat demo but yeah that's it I hope uh, it wasn't too confusing it's really a simple straightforward process just run the program make sure you back up your original dump that's the most important thing um, add your games do your settings flash the custom kernel and then synchronize it's really that easy and if you want to do the retro work drag and drop those cores into the module section so uh yeah hope you guys have fun with this this was Patton, and i'll see you next time